Hi guys, I'm Jay living in Seoul. Let's study Korean together. Today we are going to look at the Korean lyrics of Jimin's solo song Filter from BTS album Map of the Soul 7. Have you noticed any changes in his tone when you listen to the Korean lyrics or translation of this song? The nuance of his tone in the song is subtly changing. How? Listen carefully at the end of the sentence. Okay, let's start. First tone is commanding tone. And the Put your cell phone down. Don't even think about turning your head. Did Jimmy command you something in the song? Yes, he did. The basic form of 내려놔 is 내려놓다. It means put down. If you make an imperative sentence, you need to remove hit and da from 내려놓다 and add a, then it becomes 내려놔. The basic form of ma is 말다 and means stop, don't do, not doing. To make this an imperative sentence, you need to remove ril and da and add a. Then you have imperative forms now. This tone is used by a teacher or parents to scold their kids or by a boss in the army. This is a form tone that does not allow any excuse or alternative. You are not allowed to choose any alternative than the given answer and the given answer is to look at Jimin only. Let's check the next tone. The second tone is a suggestive tone. Open your closed eyes now. Leave yourself to me. Contain only me. Check the ending of the Korean sentence. You can find the ba from each sentence. I already explained this in the previous video interlude shadow explained. If you translate ba directly, it means see. But I said actually, this means give it a try generally when this word is used with another verb. So look at 눈을 떠봐. 떠봐 is a verb which is combined with 뜨다 and 보다. Tida means open in the case of 눈을 뜨다 and 보다 is give it a try because it was combined with another verb. So 눈을 떠봐 means try to open your eyes. 내게 is to me, 널 is short form of 너를, which is objective form of you. 맡겨봐 is a verb combined with 맡기다 and 보다. 맡다 means taking responsibility and taking charge. 맡기다 is let others take responsibility to look after. So 맡겨봐 means try to entrust and 내게 널 맡겨봐 means give it a try to leave yourself to me. Yeah, it sounds like he will take care of you guys. 나만을 담아봐 means try to contain only me. When you see general translation, they are usually written in imperative tone, but actually these are much softer nuanced than imperative form. His tone has become much more genial than previous lyrics. Let's move on to the next lyrics. The third one is request asking tone. <laughs> 내 맘을 씌워줘. Overlay me in your heart. These cases are usually just translated to overlay with a commanding tone. But nuance of 씌워라 and 씌워줘 is a little different. When you want someone to do something, you can order command them, but also you can ask request them. When you want to say something politely, you might add police to the sentence. In Korean, we usually add 주세요. Actually, 주다 means give, and 주세요 is polite way of saying give it to me. When you use 주세요 only after a noun, it literally means give it to me. But if you use this after a verb, then it means please. 주세요 is an honorific and 줘 is an informal way to say. Informal way, casual language is used between intimate people. So this is asking you something politely, informally. 내 means your. Mom is short form of 마음, which means heart. So 내 맘에 씌워줘 means please overlay me in your heart. When you read this translation, you might think it is an honorific, but it's not. It sounds a little more friendly, intimate, and pastoring. The first one is a tone of showing his will. Until now, he has wanted others to do something while ordering, suggesting, or asking for something. But now he shows his determination to do something. Listen following lyrics and find common word. I will embrace you like in your dreams. 
난 너를 위해 매일 새로울 거야. For you every day I'll be new. 새로운, 새로운 우리가 될 거야. We'll become a new us. Did you find the common word from the ending of the sentences? The answer is 리일 거야. 리일 거야 is a future tense and it's a casual language. He is using casual language through the entire song. His way of speaking sounds really intimate and close. So when you see 리일 거야, it means he is saying intimately he will do something. The basic form of 될 거야 is 되다 and the meaning is be become. If you remove 다 and add 리일 거야 to 돼, this becomes 될 거야. 새로운 means new. 우리가 is interpreted in context as a we or us. 새로운 우리가 될 거야 means we'll become a new us. 안할 거야 and 새로울 거야 are the same principles. 안다 is hug. So 안할 거야 is I will hug or I will embrace you. 새롭다 is new. So 새로울 거야 is I will be new. Actually, there's a little bit more to explain, but it seems to be too long and boring to explain it all here. So I'll try to explain it in another video next time. Yes, he's showing his dreams, what he wants to do, and what the future will look like. This is his dream, determination, resolution, and promise. The fifth one is the meaning of a change in tone. So what does the mood which appears to be a change in its tone mean throughout the whole album? Sugar and RM always said that BTS songs should not be separated from the album alone, but need to be understood throughout the whole album. They said it's easier and more accurate to understand the song when you look at the entire album. It's because all these songs are organically connected in one. I've explained this album over and over again that this album depicts the journey of the self being aware of both the persona and the shadow and integrating them wisely to become a better me. Then now, let me ask you a question. Jimin is trying to turn himself into a filter to make Armis happy and completely capture Armis' heart. What does this effort represent among his persona, shadow, ego, or self? I don't know the answer, but I will vote for Persona and the Shadow both. The album starts with the intro Persona and then shows the shadows they found through interlude shadow. And then in the song On, you can see that they are getting over the pain in their own way and integrating different pieces of themselves. And finally at the outro ego, you can see them finding their own way. Filter's position is a kind of front part of the entire album before integrating their persona and shadows through the song on. And you can see persona in his will as a singer who will tempt you. Filters can be changed to different shapes many times. The filters and the persona look similar in that way in that they can look different depending on the situation. At the same time, in that regard, we can also see the shadow of Jimin here. If you are a fan of Jimin, you know how much he loves his fans and even tries to change himself if necessary to show them a great performance. In a recent real life, he said he would no longer go on a health loss diet and would take care of his health. But in the beginning of his debut, he went on a severe diet. Now he's trying to live a mature and balanced life, but perhaps such a figure in the past might be his shadow. He's not showing his perfect self through his song. He's showing his desperate efforts to show perfection. He not only shows his perfection, but also his vulnerable side. We can see his sincerity and feel connected in the way we share vulnerability. By the way, whether it's a persona or a shadow or whatever, we can feel his his sincerity through this song. Whether it's socially exposed or hidden in the shadows, we can see that he wants to be a good singer and has a genuine desire to be better. Just focus on his sincerity. That's it for today and I hope to see you in the next video again. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.